September the 12th, 94, the day Newcastle United took off for Europe again after 17 barren years. For Philippe Albert, a trip home to Belgium. For Kevin Keegan, a chance to pit his team against the best. On the plane, little sign of excitement among the players, but they were all up for this one. The destination was Antwerp. A city rightfully proud of its history and European capital of culture in 1993. The city may have been famous for its diamonds, but Royal Antwerp's Basuil Stadium was no gem. The 71-year-old ground was a complete shambles, and United made a formal complaint to UEFA. When the Toon Army arrived, they were met by a far more formidable military force. Belgium state police were out in their hundreds. More than 4,000 United fans were in understandably boisterous mood, but their behaviour was to win praise from the Belgian authorities. The best sight in Antwerp? Peter Beardsley back in a Newcastle shirt well ahead of schedule. But a bigger shock was awaiting Royal Antwerp. Will Fox. Peter Beardsley, so good to see him back so quickly. Venison into the path of Beresford. Lee made the run, oh, the start! 53 seconds, Robert Lee and Newcastle United are back in Europe. It was a terrific cross from Beresford and Lee just launched himself at it and the goalkeeper was given no chance. Godfoy, run off it by Lee but it's run into the path of Saberlands. There's a chance here. The, uh, useful save from Pavel Sonicek. Easily cut out by Sellers. Now Lee. Fox to his right, Cole to his left. Fox is the selection. Lee has gone on. Fox looking for Lee. Oh! What a fantastic start for Newcastle and for Robert Lee. And life is just one long party for the players and fans of Newcastle United at the moment. Fox with another perfect cross. And Lee, well, the only person he had to beat to the ball was Andy Cole. Into the path of Fox. It's reached Cole via Emerex, and now Sellers, and now it's three. Scott Sellers adds his name to that of Robert Lee on the score sheet with six minutes of the first half remaining. Four marks to Andy Cole, goal provided this time, and Sellers just picked his spot. Beards has got it back. Now Robert Lee. Ottinger racing forward to be a part of the attack, and now he is. Ottinger's cross. Oh! A hat trick for Robert Lee. Ottinger racing forward, and a hat trick of headers for Robert Lee. There's absolutely no danger of uh, Sellers just waking into the crowd. He maybe wishes he had now. It's come for Godfrey. First time tonight, Pavel Sudacek makes a really good save. Godfrey got hold of that, but so too did Sudacek. Watson arriving on the scene. And just running through tackles, and still Watson around the goalkeeper. And the substitute has made it five for Newcastle. 5-0, an electrifying performance that sent alarm bells ringing in Europe. Newcastle were back and in spectacular style. Lee was the big hero, but one man above all certainly knew where to hand the most credit. I'm very proud for them. I've been down to to see them, and you know, but we've been playing that for a long time now. And you've got to give credit to Kevin and his stuff. You know, he's got them playing that way. It's Kevin Keegan in a sense. You know, we buy the players, but he's motivated them to play that kind of football. The new breed of English manager is changing the face of British soccer, not just English, but British soccer.